Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. It's now time to go to the next part of the ship. So as you can see, there are some uh, cheap cheeps. Well, kind of. They're green, so they're a bit different. What you'll need to do is the same thing you were doing at the sea. You can use the whirlpools to go down. By all means, please grab the uh, frog coins. And go and fight, fight these if you want. Mr. Kipper. Now you see, different name. Oh, I completely mistimed that. <laughs> There you go. Remember the kind of startup that they have before the before the attack, or you may press it a little too early. <laughs> the fights aren't that tough, especially if you're using Mallow. A Thunderbolt will get rid of everything. At this level. Bowser reaches level 12. 8 HP, 4 attack, 3 defense, 4 magic attack, 2 magic defense. Bowser learns poison gas. Sounds like a dirty trick Bowser would do. Uh, we'll go attack and defense, sure. And let's take a look. Uh, would help. Utter fail. It would help if I went here. Now it uses 10 flowers. Poison's foes, that's what it does. It has low magic power. It, it's got a little more than Thunderbolt, but Mallow's really good at spells. Bowser is not. So, don't expect a ton of damage out of Poison Gas. Or Terrorize for that matter. Bowser, this is not Bowser's strong point. You, really, you're better off using the flowers elsewhere with your other party members. They're there if you really want to use them. But again, Bowser should be just swinging. He is a powerhouse, not a caster. Now, if you take all the fight, I've been avoiding a lot of fights. If you're having prob- Well, I completely just ran into that one. If you're having problems with this, maybe this is one of your first RPGs. I kind of recommend it as that. Because it's uh, extremely forgiving as an RPG. It's really good for uh, kids or if you're new to the genre. Tulsa reaches level 12. 6 HP, 3 attack, 3 defense, 4 magic attack, 3 magic defense. 5 HP, 3 attack, 1 defense. Ooh. We'll take the HP. The attack is extremely tempting. Uh, take all the fights because that'll give you enough experience to where you'll be leveled and the levels matter so much in this game because the every every stat boost really helps out characters so don't be uh don't be afraid to take take all the fights i'm skipping them just because it is and uh this is an lp so I want to make some decent time with it. <laughs> and because I know the game so well, I can I can take some chances. In quest. I'm really, we're just killing time until Mallow can go. Ooh, lucky. But if you take every fight you see in an area, You'll probably have a few more. There, see, there's Solidify. That's what happens when you cast Thunderball. I've shown that off already. Bolt, which is why you don't want to cast Thunderbolt. But I just want to show you that that is the end of his his reign there. I had more HP so I could show it off. Yay, honey, sir. Uh, sure, double our coins, why not? Or try to, anyway. A tie. I'll take a tie. Let's see. Let's heal up. And you said, honey, sir? We just got it. So don't be afraid to... 
to, to throw out more more fights and and get get more things uh, get more exp and things such as items or coins like I said this is a really good game if you're new to the genre or if you're a younger person and you're not great at RPGs because it is very very forgiving and run away sometimes they'll do that run away if they run you sadly don't get any exp or coins for them sure why not oh uh, well there went that for exp Now what you want to do, I'm here because once you're up here, you can uh, you can go go uh on top of the water. But if you have a keen eye, you may notice that there is a door back here. Inside, you will find a safety ring. Safety bag prevents mute and poison. The safety ring gives the exact same defense as the safety badge. Guards against mortal blows. Now, what does that mean? It means that it will stop insta kill things. If I remember right. Yeah, yeah, they. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. There are a. Uh, it, it, it's a rare-ish attack that enemies have that can insta-kill, but they are there, so be careful. We're gonna give that to Mario. To guard against mortal blows. Uh, turned into mushroom. I'm happy with the rest. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and grab that. It will come in handy. Especially later. Alright. Arr, what's going on here? Who are you? I. What? Looking for a star? I'll let you see stars. <laughs> anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Oh, one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? Well, you're not going to have much of a say. Bandana red. So we have a new enemy. Eh, you're not worth it. Skewer. Now, Skewer is the bigger attack they have. You can block it. I messed up the timing with Mario. Uh, Skewer does more damage. Thunderbolt still works well. If you have an additional level or two, you may just do enough to kill. If not, you'll really damage them, and you have a chance of this happening. You have a chance of just one of getting once again, over and over, and sweeping the fight. 24 EXP, 40 coins, and a mushroom. And with that, Gina reaches level 12. 8 HP, 5 attack, 4 defense, 4 magic attack, 3 magic defense. Just look at how much of a bonus. Uh, this goes back to what I was talking about earlier. Look at just how much the stats increased with one level. It's pretty significant, plus your bonus. Ooh, we're going to take the uh, 3 attack one defense. <laughs> You're stronger than you look. Better ward the upper deck. Come on, mates. And they run off. To go do what they said they're gonna do. Warn whoever is waiting upstairs. Inside here, you get a full mushroom. I don't need the mushrooms. All right, where's the intruder? Well, you kind of ran over him, so kind of congratulations on to you on that part. I don't see him. He get away? Hi. There he is. Get him, boys. Run, Mario. Here, this one's on us. Duck. What the? Ha! 
How dare you dodge the barrel? <laughs> like it's the most egregious thing ever is to dodge the barrel. <laughs> Mario's really good at that, dodging barrels. You know, especially from up above. Get it? Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? I ran. <laughs> well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to strangers here. And you get another fight with bandanas. Except, now there's... Oh, I didn't get the ones again. There's five of them. This really doesn't change the fight that much. I see they stab twice right after the second stab. Kind of during that second stab, that's when you guard. Oh, didn't get and that one runs away. Bye. Again, 24 ESP, 40 coins. Pretty tough, mate. Alright, I'll let you through to Johnny's place. Opens the door. That's nice of him. Now, this is another case of where you'll want to do this fight and then run down and grab the mushroom. It's not a huge thing, but it it helps. So you're THE Mario, eh? <laughs> Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. You want it? You'll have to fight for it. Oh, I kind of missed that one. Pierce! This is just a bigger skewer. But it can hurt. Kind of forgot a few things. Oh! Man, it's gonna make this trickier. Oh well. Bandana Blues and Johnny himself. Let's attack Johnny. 28! As you can see, he really has some defense. There it is. <laughs> Had to remember the timing on that. Right after the uh, blade part of the trident extends. Lucky. Diamond saw. This is a potent attack that Johnny has up his sleeve. After you get rid of the minions, you'll start to see some damage. Skewer. Now you can see Johnny changes and now he's red. I, he is he's serious. Get serious. Now the jump didn't do that much. Not bad, fellas. How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Wanna mix it up? Bring it on! Good fun! 
good for you too. All right, here comes my backup. And now comes the interesting part of the fight. It's a one-on-one -on -one Mario versus Johnny. Now, there are a few things you could have done earlier, kind of forgot about this, that would have really tipped this in your favor. I don't know how I forgot about this part of the fight. It dawned on me as I was, as I was fighting. Uh, one of the things that can really tip this in your favor are a few items. Grab a bracer and an energizer. I believe those are the single target attack up and defense up. Or I should say defense up and attack up, respectively. And use those on Mario when this starts. This will let him take the hits better and do a lot more damage. Along with some mushrooms and maybe some syrups, that'll really be your your ticket to to doing well in this fight. Now the other thing is to remember that you're not gonna do much like that. Mega Drain! That eh, missed. Now what really hurts is the buffed up stats that Johnny got when he used Get Tough. This just makes this a very long fight, especially if you don't have the levels. Jump still works decently well, and that's how you're going to get a lot of your damage. Just keep it up. The more levels you have, if you're 13, 14, around there, this fight will be easier. If you remember the Energizer and Bracer from the Frog Coin Emporium, shop at Tadapult Pond, this really becomes a piece of cake. Ah, kind of messed that one up. Diamond Saw! And that's what you have to worry about. Now, depending on what items Mario has, speed is important. That way you can get some turns in before Johnny. Sadly... I I'll use a max mushroom. I'd like to wait and not use these, but... 255! it for that. We'll use a maple syrup. I really enjoyed this fight because it's just Mario being the hero, taking on the kind of bad guy. He's a pirate, but I don't know how, much, how big of a bad guy he is. Anyway, just doing the fight one-on-one. -on -one. I believe Johnny has around 5-600 HP. When he does the uh, whole, come on Mario, let's fight one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, we got the lucky. Nope, I want my 44 EXP. <laughs> I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. <coughs> Ugh.
And that's fine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is 100% current juice. Mighty tasty stuff, mate. Hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now. Give it a try. Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on. Get out of here before I change my mind. Just like they said. Jump on the trampoline. And you're out. Now you can go to the sunken ship anytime. Just the ship part. You don't have to go through the sea. But that's about it. For that, guess we should uh, rest. Rest in Marymore. No, I'm not doing the sweet. <laughs> uh, I would like to buy some things. I would like to replace what I used, a mint mushroom. Well, it's not exactly replacing, but I'll take a mint mushroom and a maple syrup. That'll work. Oh, it right. would work if I also did the thing I came here to do. That's the rest of a while. Regular room. So exhausted. Heard there's a casino where you can get big bucks. Just can't find the place. Does it really exist? Hmm. Maybe. Hello. Rock one. Hmm. Maybe? It might exist. Let's say. Alright, hmm. Where to go now? Well, I guess the only other place is to recheck on Seaside Town. Hi! Hey, the mayor! Uh, yeah, we did get the star. Or, Elder. <laughs> you found the star! Well done! Your journey ends here. You're so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yarovich, a member of the Smithy's gang. Shocked? Nah, eh, not really. No wonder, my impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Eh, use a little work. Your minions are terrible. Your search for the stars is worried Smithy. If I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over. Nice and easy. Hand it over nice and easy, huh? Get Sidious! That's how you want to play it? What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? What are you doing? No, don't do that! No, please stop! Ah. Now isn't it a shame for an old, innocent old man to be tickled like this? It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over. Nice and easy. You dirty, low-down minion. Well, we can't let the innocents get tickled, quote-unquote. I mean, it is a Mario game, so tickled. All right, here's your star. <laughs> I don't think I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. Yeah, whatever, not letting you get away that easy. It's locked, seven. Blade's late. Taking him so long. We need to get out of here. Hi. This is just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing we can do now, although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. Oh, look who it is! Not so fast there. That star's a gift to me, made Mario. 
You spineless dogs have no coat of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Uh, Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. Bring it! You are surrounded! Give me the star back! Guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Quirk formation! And we now fight Yardovich. This is the proper boss fight, I guess you could say. Even though Johnny is really tough. Let's get started. Water Blast. Now the problem with Yardovich is he does a lot of damage to the group. This is where Princess Toadstool really comes in handy. But I don't have her for this. So we're going to use an elixir. Instead. Hence why I brought elixirs. And continue the beatdown. Why don't we try a super jump? As you can see, not much doing there. Flamestone! Ha! Ah! I think that's that's the uh, safety badge. Now, Flamestone does an insta-kill, but the uh, safety badge gives you a lot of protection against things like that. Against certain spells. That, that's what the safety pins are. That's what uh, really makes it useful. Well, that didn't work too well. How much HP you have left? Sorry, I forgot to uh, do this at the very beginning. 1,211. My promotion's at stake. Apparently, that's all this guy cares about is his promotion. I believe he has around 1,500 HP, 1,600. So he's not going to go down without a fight. He really wants that promotion. Why don't we super flame instead? As you can see, spells are not going to be what you want to use here. Not nah, great water. You're really going to want to use just basic attacks. And you're going to want to knock him out before he does, he knocks you out. Again, if you have a way to give attack up, it really helps here. Mirage attack! Now, here's the annoying part. Which one's real? Nine fifty-seven. My promotion's at stake. Bolt. Missed, thankfully. Mallow is really handy in this fight because you can find out which one's real. Yeah, I really messed that one up. And there's his basic attack, which also does a lot of damage, but it only hits one person, which is better for you depending on how your party is going. Yep, Mario won't take anything from that either with the pen. Better, still not a lot. Pierce! Block that or die. It does a ton of damage, especially if the character doesn't have a lot of defense, like Mallow. And then he'll go back. Uh, let me try Shocker. <laughs> Missed it again. It does work well. Remember, uh, Metal, they were talking about we're going to Rust. So you can get some good damage out of Shocker. Thunderbolt works okay. The most dangerous thing he's going to do is Water Blast. It really damages the party. Again, Princess Toadstool, 
That's no problem. She can heal up the party with a uh, group hug. Sweet, got a freebie. And that just keeps swinging away. He'll go down. Eventually. Willy Wisp. Now that does a lot of damage to one character. Again, this is actually a really tough boss fight. Just do the amount of damage Yardovich can actually throw out. It's much more than most other enemies we've faced so far. He can really get the damage going. There we go. There's Water Blast again. If you're not using Toadstool, I highly recommend Elixirs. Just because if he decides to Water Blast twice in a row, you don't have the chance to heal up everybody. When Mallow's not healing, he can use Shocker, he can use HP Rain if just one person got hurt, and your other two people should be attacking. Mirage Attack! Alright. Let's try this one. Five hundred. I'm not the real McCoy. If you time it right, you can know which one's fake. Now the fake one just has five hundred HP. If you hit it and kill it, then you just wasted turns. Keep swinging, use your elixirs, and your will go down. 40 experience, 50 coins. And that gets Mario to 13. 8 HP, 5 attack, 4 defense, 4 magic attack, 3 magic defense, 4 HP, 1 and 1, 1 and 1, we'll take the HP. Mallow reaches level 13. 7 HP, 4 attack, 3 defense, 5 magic attack, 3 magic defense, 6 HP, 1 and 1. We'll take the HP. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? Now we have five. And as you can see, things have changed. Two Mario. Knowing you, must have been a breeze knocking down yard, eh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge flying across the sky. Probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true met, your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. So yeah, uh, Jonathan is actually a super cool shark. <laughs> Pirate. Got the shed key. It is really important. Because it unlocks this. Hi, people! Whew, thanks so much! I've had enough of cramped, dirty old places like this. Hey, fella! You guys out of a bind! Peace, brother! Mighty unpleasant here. Thanks for helping us out! Thank you! Yeah, thanks a lot! Be sure to stop by! Yeah, stop on by! Thank you for freeing us. I gotta get back to work now, but stop by the inn! See you there! And last but not least, Ah, Mario! Thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. They did torture me a little, but that's nothing to worry about. Here, this is for you. And you get a flower jar. Now, your reward actually changes depending on what you do. If you just give the star up right off the bat, I believe you get a flower box. If you continue to try to fight, the reward will be less and less so as the mayor, you know, doesn't feel as gracious. I'll... Let's see, that's the one. I'll save you. I might go back and see exactly what the reward is. If you keep doing it, the mayor just keeps getting tickled, and then at some point, the mayor doesn't talk anymore. It's like he passed out from the tickling. Which is not good for you. <laughs> but I figured I'd show it off once, because that's typically what you do as a player. Like, yeah, right. You're not going to get the get the star. Let's fight. And you see that, and then you probably change your mind. So I'm going to stick with the flower jar. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, I think I need to go pick up some elixirs. Uh, what I'm going to do, since we're already at 35 minutes, I'm going to 
end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I do hope you had a lot of fun. And now Smithy is fully aware we're going for the star pieces. So expect tougher battles and some more nasty tricks. But we have some shopping to do. And that's how we'll start the next episode. I'm going to show off the shops here in uh, Seaside Town. And we'll see if we can't get some information on where to go next. Or maybe just find out some more about what's going on. If there's any strange happenings. Again, I really hope you're enjoying this LP. There we go. Until the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.